some of the things I've taken away from Let's Race, what I am going to implement into my racing and my structure of racing in the future is how I'm going to conduct myself over social media and interviews. Another thing I've taken away from Let's Race is the mental preparation of getting ready for the event. I've had special help from Simon as well. What I'm most looking forward to the upcoming eSports final is the social aspect, being able to meet with people I've raced on online, being able to compete once again in front of a live audience because I'm able to improve myself and look back at the footage from other people and continue to improve myself. Another thing is it's gonna be my first time ever aboard, first time in a plane, so it's gonna be quite a nice experience and first time in an F1 race as well. These full motion simulators are fabulous because I get to understand the full feeling of an F1 driver and how they sit, how they have their pedal position, as well as the feeling through the wheel and how the car moves around underneath them. I started sim racing back in F1 2010 on the Codemaster series and I've been playing that game ever since. I've done a couple other sims, uh, such as iRacing and Forza Motorsport in the meantime, but I've never really focused on properly. I've mainly kept my focus on F1 series. My friends and family didn't really know, know about my sim racing career till recently. I've very much kept under wraps because I didn't want people to know about it because they wouldn't understand what it is. And now that they know I've qualified for a big final, they're quite excited for me and how I've been able to produce a good result. A lot of people noticed I went barefoot in the semi-finals. I won't be repeating that in the finals because I don't want to offend local culture. So it stops on this time. I'm just going there to drive. <laughs>